It's the very first steps as to getting a mural. Just so in case uh, any of you guys are trying to get into mural work and you want to get it done, uh, this is how you do it. Behind me, you're gonna be able to see my first huge, gigantic mural that I just got done. Uh, it got a really great reaction online. All of you guys loved it. So I wanna keep them coming and I really enjoy doing this. So this is what you guys are seeing right here is the very first steps as to getting a mural done. This one is much smaller than the other one, obviously. So I'm hoping to get it done in about two days if we don't have any issues. Uh, a couple things to know uh, just to share with you guys just so in case uh, any of you guys are trying to get into mural work and you want to get it done uh, this is how you do it the first thing you want to do is you want to scribble some drawings onto the wall and then you're going to take your picture you're going to overlay it on top of the drawings that are already there and it's going to serve as a map so that you can do your sketch uh, more accurately one thing that I realized though is that because I usually use my scrap paint or just bad quality paint in order to get the scribbles and the outline and all of that but I realized that for the scribbles underneath it's better to use light colors because then you can use the blending mode of like screen or overlay or something like that on top of uh, your drawing, your reference and it just pops up and it gives you a better reference to draw. Also. A lot of these communities that you know we are able to paint at, obviously uh, there's a lot of poverty, a lot of homelessness, so it's always really good to give back. I got some sandwiches right there on the table just to like help people out. And it's, it's just good practice, guys. Remember, you're in their home, essentially. These people live out here. So it's important not only, you know, if you are blessed and you, you, know, have, you have a little bit more of abundance that they do to be able to like give back and help out, but also to get into the good graces with the community, you know what I'm saying? Because these are the people that are here all the time. They're gonna be able to look out after your murals and it's just overall creating a positive vibe rather than being intrusive and you know not really giving anything back when it just takes a few dollars to hand out some water and a couple sandwiches. So just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, and we're ready to go, we're ready to rock. So I hope you guys like this one as well. We didn't get done as much as I wanted to get done. I could have kept going, but unfortunately we ran out of battery on my phone and that's how I look at my reference. Uh, but you know, we got a little bit ahead. We do have, I'm assuming maybe possibly one more day, two more days. The sun out here is torturous. So it's making it a little bit harder than it normally would be. Uh, but we're making it happen. So I'll see you guys in the next day. So this is one of my very loyal customers that came to say hi, came to drop me some, uh, what is this, Henry 
vehicle, right? Vehicle, yeah. Vehicle for the mural, so, you know, showing love, showing support. That's what it's all about. You guys can see one of the, one of the pieces I've done here. One of the many. girl just came by and she lives out here in the street and she gave me these two cans as an act of kindness. It was, it was really sweet of her. And uh, it's just sad man, the kind of people that are out here like really struggling out know, in the streets because of drugs. So stay away from drugs kids, stay away from drugs. The perfect palette for the teeth and this area of the mouth, but I don't have a dark shadow color to it, so I gotta mix it myself. So I gotta get a blue and a violet, and I gotta get mix them together to get the right color, which it should be something closer to this right here, which is like a blue violet. So we're gonna get this these two tips with a tube in the middle, and we're gonna mix it together like this. So this can is going into this can, right? So this can is going to go upside down. That way it doesn't release any uh, any uh, paint. And then this one's going to be the right side up. So push them both at the same time. And hopefully we can get the right color. So I got to let go of some of the air out of this one. Because one has to have more pressure than the other one. So this one is going into this one. Therefore this one has got to have higher pressure. All right, so I wasn't able to mix exactly the color that I wanted in the can, but I actually figured out a way of doing it out here on the wall. And here's how you do it. So if you spray the base color that you're using, which is this one, and then you can get a second color, you know, obviously the one that you want to mix it with, and you can lightly mix it on top. You can do a light mist from a distance and it'll blend with the cur with the color that's underneath and it'll get the right tone. And you can do it over and over. Like for example, if I don't like the way this is coming out, I can come back with the other blue until I get the desired color. And then I can, I'm actually later gonna mist it with black because I want it to be darker as well. So you can do that. You can kind of just play around with the distance of the wall and you can miss certain colors on top of the other without necessarily spraying the full color on. It's really cool. to the finish line three days in so far most of the most of the murals are already done we just got to finish the top corner right there and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna uh, roll some clear coat on it and uh, that should be it so very excited I actually got a 
another surprise for this mural i'm gonna be putting some lights right here on the top so it's gonna be really cool at night when people drive by they're gonna be able to get to see it like a gallery so that's gonna be dope okay it's a wrap it's been three days i'm exhausted this this uh mural has been extremely challenging compared to the other ones i usually uh, the last one at least I did monochromatic and it was a lot easier this one it took so many colors and uh, It was just very challenging to get the right palette the right color because I want it to look a specific way I wanted all the shadows to be on the cool side and everything on the light side to be on the extreme warm side to create very high contrast and it was just very challenging to find the right colors uh, sometimes I had to, as you guys saw, I had to like mix them together in order to get the right tone, the right value. Uh, but we did it. Uh, it was, like I said, very challenging, really hot out here in the last three days. A lot of crazy people out here that have come up and we've had some like crazy uh, things happen while we've been here. But uh, other than that, I mean, we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like content like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, make sure that you hit the notification button and leave any comments below if you have any questions or if you have just anything you want to say to us. Uh, we really appreciate you. Thank you so much. God bless and see you guys in the next video.